Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, let's continue where we left off. And we are going to focus on getting 20% followers now. For the Apostolic Palace. And I think that will involve using both our prophets. As much as I would like to save the other one for a holy site, I don't think we'll get 20% without using them both. So let's convert Tori really quick, like so. Are we down to 1%? No, we are still at 2%. Yeah, I'm not even convinced we'll get it with two prophets. But I suppose we'll find out. We'll have to convert Konya for sure and Borsa. And then we'll see. We need to convert cities that are further away from Gandhi. Because we are getting a lot of religious pressure from his cities. Just something to watch out for. We'll see how it goes. We got 338 faith. Alright, let's move. As for the other prophet. Not sure what we're going to use him for just yet, but we can convert two more times. We'll use the Inquisitor. And probably buy another one right away. Because we'll need him. Are we down to 1% yet? No. We still require 2 more percent. Alright. I have a feeling this is going to be tough. So, production. What do we need? Probably a garden, since we got a writer's guild in here. Yep, sounds good. You guys need to repair all of this crap. And build a road. Yep. Repair resources first. And oh yeah, garden is done. Nice. What's going to be next? A temple perhaps? Or maybe baths? Temples, amphitheaters and gardens. Plus one gold and culture. We do have all of those, right? Well, we don't have a temple. But we got an amphitheater. And we got... What was the other one? A garden. Right, we just finished that. Okay, works for me. And next, Machu. Castle is finished. We don't have an amphitheater here, but we could build it. We should also build a garden. Let's grab a garden first. And maybe a caravan, sorry. It's only one turn, but first the garden. And I think that's that. Next. So, Konya. We need to convert that. We'll use this guy, I suppose. And we'll also convert Malacca. With the Prophet. Another great writer, good. Maybe remove this road, we won't need it. For any reason. There's the writer. Great work, obviously. Life. Let's see if we can get more culture. I mean, more tourism. Yes, we can. From theming bonuses. Very nice. Plus four. Carry on then. And we got an event. 50% chance to gain it to iron. We don't need that. Plus one faith in all shrines. Plus one science from all universities. Let's go for faith. Because we are still going to need that. Plus 200 faith per turn. Much better. And more production. Which city was that? Oh yeah, this one. Do we need a forge? We don't have iron or copper. Near this city, so probably not. What do we need? Armory? Can't go wrong with armory. Not to mention we'll get plus two production and plus two science from armory. And we are losing one happiness from crime. Okay, sure, armory works. Only three turns, too. Reaper marble. And what else? Send that inquisitor to Bangalore. 
Can we get more religious buildings? Right, we should really annex Bangalore right now. Yep, let's just do it right away. And then we can fight by some buildings. To increase our own religious pressure from this city. And obviously courthouse, let's just rush it with gold. 11 turns is a little bit slow for my taste. Yep, this looks good enough. And we'll buy the mosque on the next turn. So you will go to Konya. Are we at 19% yet? We are not. Still 18. Alright. Fine. The Ottomans stole research from Costco. That is not very nice. We still only have one spy. Would be nice to get more. We don't have one more Inquisitor in our capital. We could just send him somewhere. Copper for horses, maybe? For gems, right, that's a good deal. And some gold per turn. Can we also get amber? Yes, we can. Hey, that's a very good deal right there. Accept. We can recruit a lot more units now. 13 more units. And there's architecture. So we could try to build the porcelain tower. In fact, we could rush it with our engineer. Is it worth it? Maybe? Research agreements are disabled. So this will be a plus 25% bonus in this city. <laughs> Okay. Would be better to get it in our capital. We just need to move the engineer. It will take him a few turns to actually get there. But he's going to be much, much more useful in our capital. Alright, let's go to our capital then. And what's next? We can grab a temple to get more faith. And repair all this stuff. There's the prophet, so convert. Oh, great. He has an inquisitor in there, so we cannot convert. Okay. So he's actually smart about it. That's very annoying. It's going to be hard getting the missing 2%. We'll keep working on it. So, we need astronomy now. We don't really have a big choice. Brandenburg Gate for Sweden. Good for him. We are still building the Globe Theater. We'll see if we can get that. I'm not interested in wars. Not right now, anyway. I think we'll get the Globe Theater. Is there also an Inquisitor in Konya? Because that wouldn't surprise me too much. Let's go to Malacca, shall we? Yep. Sounds good to me. Repair all of that. Repair the iron. Not that we really need it, but might as well repair it. And you can start building the road. Just extend the existing road. It's good enough. We can pillage this one or remove this one and then build it like so. To save one tile. Machu. Let's see. That was the temple. Circus. We don't really need that right now. We should grab more units. Or maybe a bank. More gold definitely wouldn't hurt, and that's our top production city. So a bank definitely makes sense. Armory. Minus two from poverty. Okay. So, bank. We need gold for future unit upgrades. Agra. 
One turn to build barracks. Sure. Oh, nice. One of our cities actually wanted marble. Okay. How's tech count? 41 techs for Sweden. And Theodora declared war on Portugal. We got 37. So Sweden is four techs ahead of us. That's not too bad. Yes, I want to remove the road. Okay, so... West to Malacca, and let's see if there's an Inquisitor in Konya. No, there is not. Good. Convert. Are we at 19% followers yet? No, we are not. Still 18%. Yeah, okay. This is going to be tougher than I anticipated from the looks of it. Okay. Well then. Oh yeah, also more buildings. Both a mosque and a monastery, I think. Monastery is nice. But it won't give us any more religious pressure. Granary. At the end of the queue. Maybe after the well, actually. Agra. What should we grab in here? How many tiles will benefit from this table? One. Just one, I think. Anything else? Armory? I don't feel like we need one in here. We do have copper, but it belongs to the city-state. Unfortunately. Which means we don't have it. <laughs> Just grab a university. Can't go wrong with more science. Another armory is done. Forge makes sense. Only one turn. We could try to grow our cities a little bit faster and get more followers like that. That's one way to do it. Are we still at 18%? Yep, we are. Is there an easier way to see it? World religions. I don't think so, no. Alright, never mind. Repair. Let's go convert Malacca. Hopefully we'll get 19% from that. And the Globe Theater will be done on the next turn. Nice. So what about these roads? This is a bit of a mess. We should remove some of these. And finish the plantation. Now. A road section... Over here. Yep, these three tiles. More production. We just finished the garden. Let's grab a castle. Does plus one happiness, plus 10% food. On top of the obvious military bonuses. And... Workshop, perhaps? It's not that useful when there's no forest or jungle nearby. Maybe just some military units. I mean, we don't have an armory in here. Let's get some military units. We got 27 out of 41. We can get plenty more. Maybe a cannon or two. Yep. We'll grab a cannon. Or actually, hold on. Let's get some lancers. We don't have that many. I think we only have like one or two. There's the Globe Theater. It's ours unless someone builds it literally right now. Doesn't look like they will. Nope, it's ours. So there it is. We did build it, right? I assume so. Yep, there it is. Okay then, 
that gives us a great writer. <laughs> Let's just pop him right away. Oh, now we get the information. That was a little bit weird. Yet some men say... <laughs> I think we can get another teaming bonus here. Yep, plus 28 now. How's tourism ranking? We are actually second in tourism output, very nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's get that road done. We'll just work with free workers. Now we can get just under 1300 production by using the engineer so it will be best if we wait a turn or two so that we'll be able to finish it instantly i wouldn't want to use the engineer and then lose the wonder to someone else that would be terrible let's not do that and that already happened to me in the past so we'll wait tiwanaku we have a castle in here already. Maybe some units. That wouldn't hurt. A grocer. Well, a grocer wouldn't hurt either, I suppose. Let's grab a grocer. We'll need those in the long run. And the trade routes. This was an internal trade route. We could keep working that one. Send it to Machu. We could also send it to some other city. It would have to be a city with a lot of tiles to work around it. Machu still has quite a few tiles to work. With decent yields. I think Machu is still the best candidate here. As an alternative, we could send another trade route with food to our capital, from somewhere else. Possibly, yeah. Or we can use an international trade route. That's obviously always an option. To Theodora? Yeah, let's use that one, why not? Works for me. Anything else to repair? Yep, that village over there. And time to convert Malacca. So does that give us 19% global followers? No, it does not. We still need 2% more. Okay, yeah, this is taking a while. But I'm working on it. That stupid inquisitor in Bursa. We can just keep our profit in this area and keep checking if the Inquisitor is still there, but chances are he will stay there. Still, we can stay and keep checking if we want to. So how's our production now? We got how much? I can't tell. It doesn't actually say, does it? Here, we got 124 out of 1530. And the engineer will give us 1295. Okay. We need at least one more turn. What do we research next? I think it's mostly a question of which tech do we want to enter industrial era through. So either scientific theory or rifling. Because we only need one more tech to get either of those. I think it should be scientific theory to get started on public schools. So economics first and then scientific theory. And then we can get railroad after acoustics, so like this. 
Or we could go directly for archaeology to reveal antiquity sites. That is not a bad idea. We have quite a lot of territory. I assume we'll have quite a few antiquity sites. So I like that plan. I think we'll do that. Repair the village. And what about our prophet? We could send him further south to Rome. It's not a terrible idea. We can certainly do that. I kind of like that plan. Let's send him towards Rome. The city-state is actually constructing a fort. Okay. I've not seen them do it before. Good for them. How's Gandhi's pressure? Really? The Ottomans are marching an attack on Machu. What? How exactly do they want to do that? They can't even get to Machu. I mean, even if they attack us, that's perfectly fine. Let's maybe reposition our units slightly. Yeah, I wouldn't want to lose these ranged units immediately after he attacks. That would be pretty bad. This is mostly fine. All melee guys in the front. Okay, and from the north. We need more melee units. And we are recruiting some. We'll get a lancer on the next turn. That works. This looks mostly fine. I don't think he's going to declare war, but even if he does, we are well prepared for that. Do we need one more turn? Let's see, we got 225 out of 1530. I think that's going to be enough. No, it's like 10 production short, isn't it? Yeah, we need 1305 more. Yep. We are literally 10 production short. It will have to happen on the next turn then. Can we get open borders with Rome for our profit? Yes, we can. I don't really want to give him open borders, so we'll just give him gems or something. We can buy his crab and give him gold per turn. This is a good deal. Looks good to me. Let's keep him happy. Maybe give him some iron because we have a crap ton of iron. It's not like we'll need it. We could even give him some marble, but we can also sell marble to someone else. This is good enough. There's the bank. What about customs office? We should get that in our capital. That's where most of the trade routes are coming from. That's macho. Let's grab a unit or two. We'll get a Lancer. Works for me. Finish the castle. Forge? That's only two turns. Oh, and a new policy. So that will finish Fealty Tree. What does that give us exactly? Unlock Taj Mahal. The tourism modifier for shared religion is increased by 20%. 25%. Cities that follow your majority religion generate plus three of every yield. Yeah, that's nice. And allows for the purchase of great artists with faith. That's not too bad either. Yep, I like that. And this will give us plus 15% production and city border growth is doubled during Wheel of the King Day. And we can trigger that by building a circus, because completing a circus will start 10 turns of Wheel of the King Day. Now we can start building circuses everywhere. There. No idea which tree we'll get next, but I guess we'll find out. It would be nice to enter Industrial Era before we get the next policy. Can we enter Industrial Era? 7 turns to finish economics. Okay, we need 21 turns. Okay, really? Huh. Okay. That's interesting. It will happen on the same exact turn, which is technically good enough. 
Wait. Did it just change from 14 to 15 turns? It did, didn't it? Wait though, porcelain tower. We'll get that on the next turn. And that will give us a scientist, which In then we can pop. Sweden wants declaration of friendship again, even though they declared war on us when we had it previously. I guess I'll accept that. He's only at war with Portugal, and Portugal hates us. Yep, makes sense to me. Accept. We should sell marble to someone. To Gandhi? And get open borders from him? Sure, why not? So, give me my porcelain tower already. Golden Age, nice. Good timing on that. Pop the engineer. So that gives us the wonder. And it gives us a scientist. I will pop that scientist to enter industrial era a little bit faster. So like that. That's still 14 turns. Yeah, because now we entered Golden Age and we're getting extra culture. Right. Can we get more science? We can just remove some of the specialists that give us culture. I suppose that's one way to do it. And assign more scientist specialists. It will take a little bit of micro, but I suppose it's worth doing. What's going to be next? Let's see, customs house. We got quite a few trade routes coming from this city. And we should probably build Taj Mahal. Yeah, we should definitely build that. Plus one golden age points per turn for every five citizens in this city. Yep, we want that for sure, absolutely. Customs house can wait, actually. So let's go through all the cities real quick. It kind of pains me to remove artists and writers from guilds. But we need to slow down our next policy just a little bit. Temporarily. Let's see if we actually can slow it down enough. Because it's still at 13 turns. That did not change at all. Work all these specialists. I might just do all this micro between the episodes, because I do that quite often. Remove these. And work the scientists. 14 turns now, okay, good. Is that going to be enough? I think so. Yep, remove the writer temporarily. No more scientists down here. Just engineers and a merchant. That's an artist, that's a writer. Remove this. Okay. That good enough? 12 turns to get scientific theory. That is good enough. In fact, we can reassign some of the guilds again. <laughs> yep. Just to bring it down to 13 turns again. So, these guys. Four tile assignments in here. More food needed. Yep. You can go up here. We can get plus one Ford still, but plus 82 is good enough. Still 14 turns. Move some of these guys to Ford. Oh, that ship still needs to be repaired. 14 turns still. Okay, then. This should do it. There, 13 turns. Okay. 8 turns for the city to grow. We still need a few more farms around here. So next policy in 13 turns, 
and the next tag in 11. We'll enter industrial era in 11. Alright, I'm actually going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>